Okay, we're doing a sound check. The game audio should also be coming through. It shouldn't be too loud. Uh, alerts are working. I have it in both vertical and horizontal compatibility mode. So, it would help if I did this. Why is it I keep missing that? Okay, let's see. I'm testing out different layouts with compatibility mode. I am not multi streaming, but I am using TikTok Live Studio. Oh, am I supposed to like. Hello, the House of Bread. Hello, Ben. Now I'm gonna start this from like the beginning. It was either this or Zelda, but I wanted to test the compatibility or dual mode. So that's what I'm doing. Hello, everybody. What I'm checking for right now is really the stats on the PC, and I can say that this is staying at 22% usage, so it's not putting a strain. It's actually dropping to like 19%, and the Celsius is 56 Celsius inside of my PC, so not bad for it. Although. I'd say the game is somewhat loud. At least on my end, so I'm lowering my uh, audio. There we go. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay. Oh, you joined from one of my short videos. That's cool. I was testing out some audio stuff tonight because I changed everything on my actual like VSTs because. I accidentally removed my microphone in Wavelink and I had to reconfigure it. And also, TikTok is encouraging me to go live. Apparently, it renewed for like a hundred and some odd days. So, 180 days? That's a lot of, a lot of days. Alright, we're gonna play from the beginning in file two. Let's start. I would honestly live stream here and Twitch and YouTube if I had a combined multi-streaming. Like, there's certain things that I wish were into fruition already, and it would be so much easier. But in order to do that, like in OBS, I have to actually hit a thousand. <laughs> so that's my goal, y'all. I'm at 255 now. I'm low-key just chilling tonight, y'all. Like, I'm testing out a few things. Is anybody excited about Brothership? I know I am. I mean, we could easily go into, like, hours in this game, but more than 30 minutes, for sure. So in vertical, I have it in the full game. And then in horizontal, if like you tap into the video, you can turn your phone sideways and you can see the whole thing. I 
I like that they have the black bars at the top and the bottom, but it kind of makes me wish Nintendo would actually make PC ports and factor in ultra wide and super ultra wide aspect ratios. Cause could you imagine playing Breath of the Wild in ultra wide? Which kind of makes me sad about live streaming because like live streaming, the only one that you can actually do ultra wide in officially is YouTube. Twitch will do it, but the thumbnails are always stretched, but when you watch the video, you see it in ultra-wide, which is really strange. Hey, rogues, welcome. Prologue. Oh, I'm supposed to hit the button so we can start it, right? That would be smart. <laughs> <laughs> the beautiful thing is I have configured everything with the XLR dock with my Stream Deck Plus, so everything is working seamless. <laughs> I have zero frame drops. It's only taking 0.9% of memory, and it's doing like 0 to 0.09% on CPU usage. It's pretty cool. All right. But the video should be pretty crisp. I've configured so many things just to make sure that the video quality and the audio quality is good. Not just for the game, but for the microphone. Hello. You know what I'm noticing? It's kind of like the bubble has like fabric behind it. I think it's really pretty. I was going to put on Zelda, but I was like, no, I'm saving that for when I actually live stream on elsewhere, so. What I like about Nintendo is like they play with a lot of different textures in the game. For example, like fabric fabric looking or in this case like a washed out slightly fabric chalkboard looking style to it or watercolor. I love that. Hello. All right, let's talk to the toad. Oh, <laughs> with the hammer. <laughs> my girlfriend. Yeah, Princess Peach should be my girlfriend. Oh no! I like how they slightly have speech in here. It's cute. Untimely demise? No. Lord Crump. <laughs> That's cute. You know, I never played this one when it originally came out on GameCube, so, like, this is my second save file, but, like, I didn't get too far into the game. But it's a really cute game. Scallywag, move your ever-loving bones. All right. I mean, I could do voices, because I have voice mod, but I'm not going to do that. Blimey, a fight. Corkin. Ain't nothing so fun as watching a few blokes duke it out in a broad daylight, eh? Am I right, mate? I feel like that should have an accent. I mean, everybody has an accent just depending on demographics, right? Looks like trouble over there. Probably best not to get involved, huh? I wouldn't meddle with other people's problems in this town even if I had an extra life. <laughs> oh, I like that he has a green little mushroom hat. Okay, here we go. Oh, seriously? She just goes and cowers right behind me. <laughs> like, I'd go anywhere with smelly losers like you. Hmm, not likely. Love it. She's sassy. What? 
What do you think you're doing, Chump? You think you can screw up my plans? Yes, dude. You know, foil your plans. It's always something. Looks like I'm going to have to give you a little taste of the old crump -a bum Okay, whatever. Oh, dang. Here we go into our first little stage fight. But look at how they do the little cardboard world, because it's like a paper thing, right? So it's cute. Battle time, Mr. Man. <laughs> how does she not know who Mario is? Just find a way to beat this freak off the week, okay? Um, okay. Don't sweat the details, just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. <laughs> Okay, she said jump on him. Yeah. Oh, I guarded. Yay. It's a tutorial on the first fight. That works. Keep boiling on him. I blacked again. Okay, let's do the hammer. I happen to like it. Did we beat the baddie up? Yes, we sure did. Oh, we got a nine for that. Nice. Yes, I understand what star points are. We got nine of them. Okay, so if I get to 100, I go up to the next level. That's good to know. Got a couple of decent shots in. I'll give you that. But unfortunately for you, that means... It means what? It's go time? Okay. Oh, dang. I forgot about this. Punish him. Yeah, whatever. We're just gonna, like, disappear. I think we snuck out of that, didn't we? <laughs> there we go. Oh, what a bunch of poses. Let's just sneak out here. What do you say? Yeah. Oh, I can't do anything there yet. They didn't see us, right? Okay, there's clearly something behind here. Can I jump? No. <laughs> he just yelled at them like, stop! Look at all those little minions. There's just too many of them. <laughs> Did anyone? They're all like, question mark? Crud, they bolted. Of course we did. Y'all were just like in a frenzy, not paying attention. A little reward. Oh, she gave me a kiss? Look at the heart. That's cute. Goombella. She's a junior at the University of Goom. Aww. Um, Mario. Yes, the famous guy Mario. <laughs> it looks like you just rolled into town yourself. Yeah, we sure did. Hello, everybody. <laughs> like that she says is me. I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look at these birds over there. Or turtles, right? Those are turtles without the shell. Uh, they just... Wow. Brogueport. Okay. Legendary treasure. Here we go. You had me at treasure. A map. She's like, oh my gosh, is that a map? You have to tell me where you got that. I mean, I don't have to, but sure. Princess Peach, what? Great, hoogly boogly if it isn't Master Mario. <laughs> this is cute. 
Oh my gosh. I love the little like scripts that they have written for the characters, but I could never do voiceovers. <laughs> if I ever did, I would have to actually like apply myself at it. A bit of confidence bumping into one another in this sort of place. Oh, he calls him Master Mario the Toad. It's cool. Wretched little bird. Okay. Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map. Well, yeah. And she told you she'd meet you here in Rugport. Intriguing. More like she sent me on a mission. Mm, no. You took your eye off her for a moment, and as soon as you did, she vanished. I swear, this is like a theme with Princess Peach and Zelda. They just, like, disappear. It's like Zelda when she... Well, never mind. If y'all haven't played Tears of the Kingdom or Breath of the Wild, or even um, Echoes of Wisdom, you're starting to realize, like, Zelda does her own thing, right? Or even an Ocarina of Time, now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, well now we have a task. Luckily, knock on wood, my HP is fine. HP is health points. Alright, let's do this. Like Peach in the Mushroom Kingdom, Princess? Yes, lady. Always gets nabs <laughs> napped by Bowser and the King Ko uh, Koopa King. The one you rescue, Kess. Yes. Yes, she did. You know what? She talks like the Animal Crossing creatures. My professor is here researching that treasure map. We'll show him your map. All right. Sure. She's probably gone rogue. That's probably why we're in Rogueport. Yay, Goombella is my new buddy. Okay. Right, so if I want to learn about somebody, I just hit X. Look, he's got like a little link hat. It's green. Oh, am I hitting the wrong button? Yes, I am. That's Gum, uh, what, Goomther? The Goomba. He always con he's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. <laughs> oh my god. Bye bye, Goomther. Uh, nearby objects, huh? Okay. Okay, so uh, we can use her ability whenever we can. I've mastered them, we're good. We don't need a repeat. <laughs> I like that she winked. She's such a cute little, like, ooh, girly girl Goomba. This cute little Goombella. You don't know where your professor lives. All right, let's try that. All right, cool. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I totally bonked him on the head. I hit the wrong button again. Oh, okay. So I'm like 10 HP. Let's talk to this baddie here. 
The question is, why is he living in this shady town? That's a lazy Dugan. He hunts shady jobs that expects to pay well. I bet he's never done an honest day's work in his life. What a piece of work. <laughs> oh my god. I forgot how much fun this was. So we're gonna be smart about it. Anytime you see a save icon, just hit the little save. Just bonk on it. Uh, here we go. Mouse a million. Okay. Well, I think he's a really cute little mouse. Hmm, okay. Oh, this lady doesn't want me to step on her contact. I remember that. You would think those things would fall down, but... Oh well. Okay, I guess we won't move yet until she finds her darn contact. Can I move now? I mean, she's looking around for it. Just leave the old lady alone for a minute. <laughs> lady, I was stepping here before anything. All I did was jump. I feel like that was the biggest scam of the century. Pay you off. Like, no. Bye, lady. Okay, let's go in here. Oh, okay, we can buy some of these things. I'm not gonna buy any of it, though. I don't need it right now. So he said something about going to the inn, right? Ah, okay, well before we go and talk to the skull captain, let's see what's up here. I like that they use origami, like I think that's the cutest thing ever. No thanks. We're closed. We open at 11 today. Um, okay. Like, is she blocking? Yeah, she sure is. Okay, let's see. Does she have any info on him? Mick Goomba? A Goomba, obviously. I think maybe he's on the lamb from somewhere. Okay. I agree, it is nasty here. It's extremely shady. Let's see what they say about him. Mm. 
Wow, she is so judgmental for a little Goomba. Oh, I cannot kill the... Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's like I can't kill the little roach in here. Oh, I got a star piece. That was so random. So these things don't fall down, huh? But if I had fire, I could make them just burn up. So, like, paper can't go into water, so, like, clearly our character cannot swim, is what I'm gathering. I want what is ever in that chest up there, but I don't know how to get up there yet. <gasps> oh, he just took 49 of my coins! Or no, 51. Okay, yeah, we're going after him. Where's my money, Brian? No, he ran the other way, didn't he? He's gotta be in here somewhere. I kind of feel bad with the way he talks though, that you have to kind of like get your money back. So he likes this place, he's a bandit, and we just totally caught him red-handed. Really do enjoy games like this. I enjoy RPGs, so it's it's all good. That's Goomfrey, the Goomba. He looks kind of shady, I guess, but he's cool. People call him a fixer, you know? A guy that can make any problem just go away. Wow. This is like imitating, <laughs> imitating real life with some shady people. It's crazy. Be careful and live longer. Okay, dude. It's good advice. Ooh, fortune teller. <laughs> Oh, okay, but I want to know Merlin, this odd old man who says really bizarre things sometimes. For three shines brights, he raises a partner for one rank. Okay. Well, we're not raising any partners right now. Like, we just started the game. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? Let's check out this guard real quick. Can she give me context on him? Yes, yes she can. The Robs, he looks like a total maniac, but he's actually a nice guy. Don't judge books by covers. Okay, let's talk to him. Ten coins to pass through. Hold on y'all, one of my sugar gliders is making noise. Oh, it's Gizmo. I'm gonna feel kind of dumb paying. We could say I can take you, but I'm leaving. We're not worried about it right now. We'll pay later. We're on an agenda here. There we go. <laughs> Professor Frankly. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> like, frankly speaking. Just kidding, just kidding. What? Who's there? Who wants me? <laughs> what? No one wants you, old man. We're just here to see you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Silence. I get it right. Okay. Gumbriel? No. 
It's Goombella. It's not Eliza Goom. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, I've got it. Goombella, of course. Finally. She's dressed like she's ready to go excavating, so... It's me, Mario. But it's actually it's Sumi. Yeah. For those that didn't know. He hasn't a clue what's up right now. That's cute. Tales, huh? Infinitely vast treasure hoard while others say it's a magical item. Okay. Maybe it's both? Crystal stars. Okay. You know, the last time I was looking at the word crystal stars, it was with Sailor Moon on the anime. I binge watched Sailor Moon Crystal, Sailor Moon Eternal, and Sailor Moon Cosmos. Oh, let me tell you, it took me on an emotional roller coaster of nostalgia. It was amazing. I like the new anime artwork, though. It, you know, the old one, it's very reminiscent, but like they gave it a new splash of paint, and it's very beautiful. The next uh, anime remake that I'm watching is Thundercats because, like, I know they made an anime version. I grew up with the older version, you know, with, like, all the muscles. And so I haven't seen the anime version yet. But I'm going to watch that because it's on Hulu. The Stones of Yesterday. Have a magic map. Yeah, I really do. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Yeah, so now we're finally seeing action. And you know what? It's like 10 o'clock p.m. here. So we'll continue this another time. I'll probably do a different type of stream next time. Um, but it's late here, so I'm going to go and hit the save button after this dialogue. What? He's like, bye-bye, piece of cardboard. <laughs> okay, but like... What I need. Is he gonna let me go this way? I need to hit the save button before we actually carry on, right? And then I'm gonna call it a night. So, good night, everybody. And I will see you all the next time I go live, which I have no idea because I usually stream on Twitch. But, um,. I'll be doing some TikToks throughout, I guess, the 180 days that they gave me to do live streaming. But uh, I think the next game I'm probably going to do is a Pokemon one. Good night, everybody.